everyone. <coughs> we got to be over me on this one. <coughs> <coughs> Welcome to my Dark Souls tutorial. So today we're gonna be playing um, Deserter Daisy. She is a she's a katana. That's her. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going through Illyrif Dungeon and uh, killing all these people because they're dirty people. And, uh, they, uh, they make your health go down, so, oh, well, you better watch out for those guys, because they just push you off the edge, so, uh, killing them works really well. Uh, sorry, um, I forgot how to play this game. Wow, this character isn't well built at all. Wow, okay. I guess we'll keep on going like this. Um, two, three, four. Alrighty, and now we're gonna go wait for our stamina to regen and then walk up to her and uh, jumping attack and then jumping attack again. And then when she's not looking, that one. And okay, now. This is the annoying part, because as you can hear, I can hear a little chat. So, what we want to do is in our beautiful little bird mask, we want to go run up to that lady and knock her down. So the best way to do that is just swing right up to her, and R2, and she's knocked down. And that gives us an optimal time to do a charge attack and kill her. Yeah, easy peasy. Now, the only problem is we got these guys to deal with now. Which is just a little bit of an annoyance. I mean, you can just free aim them. Because, I mean, it's a big sword. You don't really have to aim much. Um. Okay, but through here, there's nothing really, but then you go in here. And then you're like, ooh, item! That's really cool! And then you're like, what the fuck is that thing? So, um, yeah, you just, just kill this thing. Because it doesn't really help everyone. Anyone at all. And then you just want to open up this. And, uh, now you walk back here, open up this door. Now, there's multiple ways you can do this area. Um, one of them is go over here. And, uh, I forget if this opens. It opens. And, uh, you just gotta be careful because, uh, you, you cover your ears. Oh, oh, never mind. I got the wrong one. So, what you can do is if you go, after getting that key, go back this way, run across here, um, heal up a little while I'm at it, and then you run over here, and then you, okay, now, cover your ears for this one. Ow. You can use the key here, walk through here, and drop down here, and now you just gotta make sure, oh, you get this item, and then you, uh, roll down here, ow, not get hit by an arrow, and not get hit by an arrow. Now that is an item which we do want, but I will grab that later. Actually, I'll grab that now, because otherwise I'll forget about it. How? Ow. I've forgotten how to play this game, so bear with me again. Mm. Okay. Now, what you can do is if you do this... Aha! ba -poof. And uh, while he's having a yawn, you wait for him to open up, and then you grab the item. Which is... A useful item, that one, you want that. Okay, now, you can run past every single one of these guys. Just don't get hit. Because there is a lot of them. Usually you don't want to roll out of that, because it's a big fall. Now, hopefully I don't get killed here, because otherwise that might ruin my run. So you just want to do a little bit of that. Um, there we go. Now you run past him. Drop down here, get the Titanite chunk from killing 
in that lizard, grab the pickaxe, and then run through here. Avoid all the dudes again. While I'm here, I'm just going to quickly put that in my hotbar. And then you run up this way. Boop, 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 boop. Now, good way to tell a mimic from a not mimic. Chain back, you're okay. Chain away, you're okay. Chain towards. Throw the thingy. Now the inner problem is that as soon as you throw that thingy, all of these sillies come over here. So you just want to grab that. Ooh, good item! <laughs> now those sillies, they make you into stone. So watch out for them, because they're rude. So you grab your, your sword, and then you run through here. Grab that. And uh, make sure you don't get attacked by the bad rats. Um, then you roll through here. Grab this item. Grab the poo, don't get attacked by those bad rats. Open up this. Now this is the hard part. Because there can be multiple mess ups here. Because you get seen by the bad men. And you're done. So you just gotta run through here. Touch this guy's back. And then run through here. Run up here. Step on this thingy. Knock the mouse off. Or get knocked off by the mouse. Now I have to wait. So how's everyone doing? I'm good. Um, but there's a mouse. I don't like mice. But I do. So let's just have a little sippy. And then uh, when he comes down, I'm gonna show him a little bit of love with my katana. Except... I don't know where he's gone. So, uh, this is good. Oh, here he is! Now you just want to go over here, grab one of these, and then roll over to the door, open it up, run back here, step on the thingy, and you want to roll off here, grab this thing, that's good if you want to play a holy build. And then you run over here, <laughs> there is a thingy, so what you want to do is you want to get past all of these ugly ladies. Best way to do that is to run over here, and ignore the enemies because all they're going to do is annoy you. Run past this guy. Now the thing is, you will constantly get drain damage whenever those things are looking at you, so you just gotta keep running away. They're really loud, so you know if they're coming after you or not. And then once you're over here, what you gotta do is go over here, grab that item for safekeeping. And then uh, that guy over there, he's going to come along and he's going to try and hurt us, so you want to wait over here. What you can do though, is you can get a quick hit in. There we go. So, whack on that, and then... I missed. I missed. I don't think it's going to hit him, so let's just uh, forget about that. And uh, run straight towards him. Roll past him. Go through here. Don't take full damage, because you got a kitty ring. And then uh, you go here, up the ladder. And uh, once you get up the ladder, then you walk over here, and then you grab this, and then you do this. So uh, that's my guide for Illerlift Dungeon, in case you haven't done it already. So uh, thanks for watching!